Hey folks, in today's video, we're going to learn how to make this awesome text stroke animation. In a text stroke animation, we'll see that the image interacts with the text even when it's animated. And this also applies if we use a 3D image. And the results are quite spectacular. So let's get designing. The first thing that we'll do on a blank slide is paste in the shoe images that we'll be using. Let's make our slide a little smaller and let's move three of the shoes outside the slide and bring the first shoe to the center. Now let's press Ctrl A so all our shoes are selected and let's adjust them based on the first shoe. So if we want our shoe to be placed like this, all we have to do is open three more slides and let's bring the other shoes into those slides. Let's bring it to the center and we'll do the same for the other two. Once we're happy with the placement of our shoes, let's add a background color to each slide. So we'll go to Format Background, we'll go to Color, let's go to Eyedropper and click on the shoe. So that way we have a matching background. We'll do the same for all the other shoes as well. So Eyedropper, click on the shoe. Eyedropper, click on the shoe. And there we go. All right, so now it's time to add the stroke text and animation to our slides. So let's go over to slide one. Let's add a text box and let's paste in the name of our shoe. Let's adjust our font size. Let's change it to a more suitable font and make it white. Then we'll drag it over the shoe and place it depending where we want it to overlap. Next, we'll create a copy of this text box. Let's take it down. Go over to Shape Format. Let's remove the text fill and give it a text outline and increase its weight as well. Next, we'll leave our design elements as they are right now and go over to Animations. Let's select our shoe and give it a fly in animation. Let's set it to fly in from the left. Let's go over to animation pane. We'll increase the duration to about 125. Let's set it to start with previous. And in effect options, let's give it a bit of a bounce end. So it should look like this. Then we can select the shoe again, click on animation painter twice and add the same animation to the text boxes. Then in your animation pane, select the two text boxes and change the direction from right. So it happens like that. Now that we've added the animation, let's select our first text box, send it to back. Keeping the first selected, let's select the second text box with control. Let's go to Align and align it to top. We'll also align it to the middle. So when we animate it, it looks like the text is interspersing with the shoe. And that looks pretty neat. One final animation that we can add is to the shoe. In Animations, let's add animation. Let's give it a motion path. Let's select the red handle and decrease the motion path by just a little bit. 
Let's set it to play after previous. And in effect options, let's give it an auto reverse and we can remove the smooth start and end. So it's almost like a floating effect. Let's see the entire animation in full screen once. And that looks pretty neat. I did forget to add until end of slide to the shoe float effect. So in timing, go to repeat and until end of slide. So that if you are on this slide, it will keep moving up and down. Once we've created the animations for the first slide, it's fairly easy to paste them onto the rest of the slides. So let's select our shoe, click on animation painter twice and apply the same animation to the rest of the shoes as well. Once we've done that, let's copy the text boxes that we created, paste them onto every slide. We'll have to change the name on every shoe. So we take the two text boxes apart and we paste in the new shoe name. If the name is larger than our slide, we'll have to adjust the size of the font again. After sending the solid text to the back. And in animations, we'll drag the float effect to down. So the fly in effects are together and then the float in effect happens. So I'll quickly now add the same effect to the other two slides. And once we've added all our text and animations to all the slides, let's select all our slides and go to transitions, go down and select pan. Let's check it out in full screen once. You can use this effect on any kind of slide design as long as you have a PNG version of your image. And sometimes even if you don't by using the background remover tool in PowerPoint. So finally, we'll see how this effect works in 3D as well. Let's open a new slide. Let's add a 3D object. So we'll have a shoe that's 3D. Let's change the background color here as well by going to eyedropper and selecting the shoe itself. Then we can copy over some of our text from above, bring it here, split it apart, add the new text and this time for the 3D object in animations, we'll add a turntable effect. We'll set it to start with previous and we'll also set it to play until end of slide. Then we'll send the first text box to the back, select the second text box and align them once again. We can adjust the font positioning as we please. And so when we check it in full screen, we see the 3D model moving through the text and that looks really cool. So there you go folks. That was a fun way to create this awesome stroke animation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.